very, very quiet. We're gonna go borrow a bulldozer. Maybe steal. Let's get to it. If you don't know, Grant just broke ground. Well, he already built his brand new house, and it's immaculate if you could see it up there on the hill. Uh, my wife saw it and immediately wanted her own house. So now, I really need the bulldozer so I can use it. I know if I ask Grant, of course you'll let me use it, but I think it's more fun to just steal it, leave him a little, uh, probably a gift card to the local steakhouse and uh, some flowers inside and return it without him even noticing. Hey, you might get mad, but it's all in fun. It's all in fun, trust me. Not sure what went on here. Looks like we got a uh, cement wall here. That's some serious, uh, some serious uh, possible erosion going on here. These doors are open. It might be home. This might be a mistake. Lights on. Doors open. Trucks here. He's definitely going to hear that old beauty over there start up. There's no, there's no hiding that. Hmm, what should we do? Should we just go ask creepily? Eh, we're so far into it. Let's just, let's just try it. Let's wing it. Oh, are you serious? You locked this old thing? Who would lock this old bulldozer? He must have knew where you were coming. Shoot. Well, that ruins the plans for that. Oh, man. Well, let's see if Grant's around so I can ask. Really just wanted to borrow without him noticing. Grant, you around? Grant! Where in the heck is Grant at? He has his doors open, everything. Hashtag... Where is the squad? I wonder... Hopefully he didn't uh, choke on his bowl of Wheaties here. Brett Favre. That was a long time ago. Grant. What the heck is this thing? Some new piece of a technology here? I thought computers were huge. Big boxy screens and everything. What the heck is this thing? I have to say, real nice house. So if you haven't checked out Elk Mountain Modding yet, check them out on Facebook. Great modders. Absolutely stunning work on houses, uh, buildings, uh, a lot of uh, placeables. Probably one of the best modders out there in placeables. So check them out like the channel support them well I'm thinking Grant isn't around unless he's uh, upstairs sleeping maybe he's working on a video you never know but we're gonna have to have other plans I'm gonna have to tell Grant there's no way this is not gonna erode that mountain has some serious uh, slope on it that rock is just gonna roll all the way down this hill. Nope. And I saw this when I was uh, walking up. Not sure what's going on here. But, uh. We got some, definitely some weird planting going on. I left my uh, tr semi over here because, of course, you're not gonna have a getaway with uh, one of them things. They go about a max of eight miles an hour. And you're not even supposed to drive them over a bridge because they have metal tracks, so 
I was going to put it on the semi here, my eagle, but can't do that now. Big time failure. Well, the good thing is we don't have to worry about Grant getting mad at us because we borrowed the dozer, even though I was going to give him a pretty big gift card to the local steakhouse for it. Just thought it would be kind of fun to uh, mess with him a little bit. Oh, maybe he's out in the field. Does have that uh, tractor out over there. He might be out in the field. All right, uh, I guess I have to get to it. So I have a mess of a farmyard. So the things on the to-do list before we can start breaking ground on my wife's dream house is one, the 4755. I don't have the money to uh, tear that down and redo it without selling the 4755. So, uh, it's going into the dealership. Sorry to see you go, baby. You are one good looking tractor. Uh, I do need to take the case uh, planter back. And I, I kind of, I told you all guys this wasn't a vacuum. This is actually a vacuum. You could see it in the center there. So it vacuums it to the seed plates, the seeds to the seed plates. And this is actually an air planter similar to an air drill but a row crop so it's a little bit different so we were testing two different styles of planters technically like I said but uh, just slightly different one uses air uh, vacuum is really air too if you think about it so all right I'm gonna have to pressure wash these both off got a plant or I gotta park my John Deere in the building here Oh, wow, there's so much. Oh, I have seeds still left out. Got to get that in. Oh, man. Got so much to do before I even uh, start breaking my ground. And I got to make sure I move Gina's uh, dog kennel out of the way. I don't want it even close to this once we start tearing it down. So I'm thinking with the house, I'm just going to bowdoze it down the hill. You guys think that'll work? I think you just keep on rolling down all the way down to the river. Should. That's theory anyways. Alright, I'm just backing this up into our uh, shop barn here. I'm gonna work on it, tear it apart. I like putting it in this barn primarily. All my old tools are in this barn and I can work on it slowly and it doesn't get in my way in the other shops. So. If it's a rainy day or anything, speaking of that, I need to paint this thing. Look at all that chipping. Can't have a deer looking like this. Deers have to be immaculate. Yeah, while we're down here, you know what we got in here? Oh, look. Look. A lot of nice people, a lot of nice companies wrote me for some bills. That's nice of them. So considerate. They're always thinking of me. All right. So get this over here, load up our beautiful 4755, I'm sorry, but you, you know, you got to make your wife happy. If your wife isn't happy, you know, bad things are going to happen. So unfortunately that means we got to sell our pride and joy. Load this beautiful thing up. Go. You think it would lower the resale value if we just drive it through our old house? Eh, probably. I don't think it can withstand it. I mean, deers are made strong. But I think uh, there might be some cosmetic damage to it. Alright, beans, we don't have the dozer. We are... Oh, I better move this. Definitely gotta move the three-wheeler. Can you believe my wife thinks this, uh... So she doesn't want me to completely destroy all the wood in this house. She says she wants to save some of it. 
and she wants to save the reclaimed wood. She said it's a fad that's going to catch on. I have no idea what she's talking about, but... Alright. Happy wife, happy life. I'm really going to miss this port show. Before I get into tearing this down, take one final stroll. So, I kind of like this house, but the worst thing, interaction just isn't here. See? Bong, bong, bong. There's no going in there, so... I do love this porch, though. I am going to miss this porch. I would love to have a porch like this one day. Just so I could sit in here. Need a few, uh, you know, rocking chairs here and just enjoy the summer air. But, no more. So I think I might save some of that porch wood just because it's special to me. But, everything else is going to go. Alright, that's the last of it. Man, did I get my butt chewed. So, as you can see, I saved a lot of wood, reclaimed wood like my wife asked. She didn't tell me anything about the flower bed she wanted to keep. So, I just kind of bodozed them in, and yeah, now I'm in big trouble. I mean, I'm not a mind reader. Come on, you got to tell me if you want something. Women. Oh well, so... We're going to try to use the majority of this wood in the new house. So I'm going to get this all fixed up. Ooh, I still have to move the Gina. Yep, got to move you out of the way so make sure you don't get hurt. And we got to saw down some of these trees. Here we go. Timber! Boom! Oh, I was hoping that rolled down the hill. Uh, slowly. Uh, that's kind of depressing. I was hoping it would just fall down all the way down the hill. talk about an upgrade in my mind that's an upgrade i love wraparound porches uh it's you know not the modern slash rustic style that grant went with but i think this is uh my wife's taste and you know happy wife happy life so I really like the layout. I was hoping to actually get the house to sit back a little bit farther. I wanted it to sit back on this ledge, so I I might do a lot of dirt work back here and just kind of make this ledge kind of a beautiful backdrop, being I couldn't get the house farther back. I still got a lot of landscaping. I got to clean this all up, so I ended up putting the garage right here. Uh, I don't know. I might move it and set it down a little bit farther down. I think it would be better if it was farther down. But this is definitely going to be my uh, he shed. You know, where I work on my pride and joys. My bustle cars. Alright, I think I need to lower this down because I don't think it's going to work. It's going to look kind of cliche when it's uh, about three foot, four foot higher than the Welker's uh, garage here, or shop.
What's up, Gina? Gina's got a new home right by our brand new porch. She loves her porch, by the way. Just loves it. I just love this new log cabin. Well, cabin, rancher, whatever you want to call this, it is beautiful. Uh, I know Rustic is kind of on its way out. You know, farmhouse is the new in but in the 90s rustic was in everyone loved rustic back in the day just look at this stove man i just would love to have a stove like that one day just a beautiful beautiful nice plush couch i have no idea what this weird thing is on my coffee table 2019 what is that that must be in the future sometime i don't understand so we got an upstairs, got a bedroom. Just look at all this. Just love it. Got my, uh, this is where I can uh, scout out some uh, future uh, farm equipment. I'm going to enjoy this. And I can have all of my guns in my gun safe here. Even got me a 8000 series John Deere with right, white rims on the top right there know how we like it ah and the best part of all right over here got a garage man cave whatever you want to call it ah this is where i'm gonna have my projects at gonna get me a few muscle cars back them up in here hmm can't wait uh make sure you all check out elk mountain modding they do some great work. Uh, really going to enjoy this. Love my front porch. Going to love sitting down here watching Gina play and enjoying my summer air. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you later over here in the 90s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. What? You think my wife gets a new house and I don't get a new toy? Ugh. You are mistaken who wears the pants in this relationship.
I know, she does. Make sure you like the video.